Doc here with a physics tutorial for Physics 101 Light and Visual Phenomena. The subject will be the CGA color scheme and the EGA color scheme. CGA refers to color graphics adapter which was developed by engineers and computer scientists at IBM in 1981 when it appeared. It was used for text mode and it used a scheme where RGB values would be either zeros or ones for each of the slots RGB. So you had one bit, a bit is an entry that's either zero or one, had one bit for each RGB. That was the basic scheme. So here we have it. A zero means you're off, a one means you're on, and you have three primary colors for addition. You have red at the bottom here in the way we have it configured, R, G for green, and B for blue. You might want to take a piece of paper out and pencil and jot down a few of these binary numbers. Or you can get your notes out and perhaps follow along. If we start counting RGB in this fashion, we would uh, have 0, 0, 001 reading RGB, so 0, 0, 0 is black, 0, 0, 001 is blue, and the next number would actually be 0, 1, 0. If we were counting up, that'd be green. Then next would come 0, 1, 1. And then after that, we basically would trip the R number, like in an odometer in a car where these are two nines, so you would trip, these would go back to zero, and we would flip this one up. That would be red, one, zero, zero. And then you would advance here, one, zero, one. So we go from red to magenta, and then we would bring this green up, have one, one, zero, and finally, it's yellow, and finally, 111 to be white. So that's counting in binary from 0 to 7, and they're all the possibilities you have. So each can be in two states. So what you do is think of 2 times 2 times 2, and there's eight possibilities. When 000, zero, zero is in there for the uh, counting for one of them, then you have 0 to 7, and that's eight states, eight, eight colors. The uh, EGA came out 1984, again IBM, the Enhanced Graphics Adapter, and this one allowed for each of the primary colors to be in four different states. And the EGA was used in the graphics mode where pictures could be represented up to a combination of uh, 64 colors. So if we were to look at this scheme, it looks like this where each of the primary colors, red, green, and blue, RGB, can be in one of four states. It could be off, low, medium, and high. Now in the binary, to name four different things, we need to have two slots, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. And that gets you the description for the red. So 0, 0 equals off, 0, 1 equals low, 1, 0 equals medium, and 1, 1 equals high. 0, 0 also equals 0 in decimal, and 0, 1 happens to be 1 in decimal, 1, 0 is 2 in decimal, and 1, 1 is 3 in decimal. So the numbers listed here on the slider are the decimal numbers. So since each of the primaries R, G, B can be in four states, we have four times four times four equals 64 colors, the first being black. Let's go ahead and get a nice yellow by turning up the green and the red and leaving the blue off. The RGB value here would be 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. 
I like to get orange by knocking down the green to either two or one, let's say. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice one there. And this orange has the color uh, code 1110 and 00. And there's another orange that looks nice too. That's 110100. Nice lavender is obtained by bringing up the blue and downplaying the green. The EGA color code for this, RGB equals 110110. In other words, 11 reds on high, 01 greens on low, 10 blues on medium. It's nice to play with this applet to get a feel for the EGA colors. You can get complete understanding because in a short amount of time you can actually get all 64 colors which you can't really do with the modern system when you have 16 million colors as possibilities. Here we have 64 colors as possibilities so 64 is a small enough number that we can actually get each one. Sign off for now. I hope you enjoyed the review of CGA and EGA.